All right, y'all. Today is the big day and the final day. If you have not voted, get out there and go vote and do what you need to do to get your voice heard and to make a change. It's time. And as a Trump supporter, just know that you've done like he has. Everything in your body to fight. We have done it, y'all. We have done our part. And we're going to rest it in his hands and let him handle this tonight. All we want is a fair win. That's it. Because we did what we needed to do to vote. Trump did what he needed to do to become the president once again. Get out there and vote. Y'all still have time to make a difference, okay? With that being said, we finna get into Megyn Kelly coming straight off her page, joins Trump at his final PA rally of 2024. And if she explains why she is supporting Trump. Let's get into it. And, you know, I just mentioned a name, but a woman who I saw the other night on television just ripped some poor idiot apart. Megan Kelly is here and she's doing. Come up. Come up here, Megan. <laughs> she ripped a guy apart. Hey, Megan. Hey, it's great to see you. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe the energy and the stamina on this guy at his age? I'm ready to go to sleep over there. He's got another rally to go to till tonight. Right. Let me tell you, first of all, one of the reasons why I wanted to come here, one of the many reasons I wanted to come here. When I launched my show four years ago, we had Mark Cuban on the program. You know, yeah. mm. you may have seen he was in the news this week. And he started going on about how bad America's race history was and how ashamed he was of America. And that's why he was at all these protests. And he felt it was really important to stand up and speak out about human rights violations. And then it got awkward when I asked him about all the money he was taking from China. And then he dropped a bunch of F-bombs. And I thought, I really enjoy this feeling of proving Mark Cuban wrong. (laughs) And so here I am at a Trump rally, a strong, intelligent woman, Come on. Mark Cuban wrong again. I won't take up much of your time, but I do want to tell you the main reasons I am voting for Donald Trump. Let's get him. Number one, immigration. He mentioned it. And people like Lake and Rowley. Come on. I'll be thinking about her tomorrow all day. 22 years old. Killed in Georgia, a young nursing student by an illegal. Mm, mm, I'll be mm. thinking about Jocelyn Nangare, 12 years old, in Texas, murdered by two Venezuelan illegals. President Trump closed the border. Kamala Harris opened it by choice. It wasn't accidental. She said it would be humane. That's what she and her boss believed. Tell it to Lake and Riley's family. Mm. There was nothing humane about it. He closed it. They opened it. It was an intentional choice, and there's no reason not to believe they won't do it again. The boys should not be in the girls' sports. You bet. Come on. Preach. The boys should not be in the girls' bathrooms. The boys should not be in the girls' locker rooms. Period. Peyton McNabb. North Carolina sophomore in high school slammed so hard in the face by a volleyball hit at her by a boy pretending to be a girl. She suffered traumatic brain injury and permanent paralysis. Kamala Harris looks at her and says, be kind, suck it up. And that's what's right. 
why do our girls have to face brain damage in order to be kind to boys who want to invade their sports? And by the way, they are going into the women's prisons. She changed the law in California to make sure the taxpayers would pay for their sex change operations. She was not just following the law, she changed the law. Mm. President Trump will stop it. Okay. Mm-hmm. He got he got mocked by the left for saying he would be a protector of women. He will be a protector of women, and it's why I'm voting for him. Let's go. And why I he will voted for him. Border. He will keep the boys out of girls' sports. Okay. And where they don't belong. And you know what else? One more thing. He will look out for our boys, too. Our forgotten boys and our forgotten men. Guys like you. Guys like these guys. Who've got the calluses on their hands. Who work for a living with the beards and the tats. Who maybe have a beer after work and don't want to be judged by people like Oprah and Beyonce. Who will never have to face the consequences of her disastrous economic policies. Mm. These guys will. He gets it. President Trump gets it. He will not look at our boys like they're second-class citizens. And ladies out there who want a bit of girl power in this election, let me tell you something. How can you win when the sons and the husbands and the brothers and the dads you love are losing? Come on. It's not a win. At all. You better. We care, young women and older, about the lives of our children, the safety of our children. Mm -hmm. And we need not get so obsessed with what happens when they're in the womb that we forget about taking care of them once we're here and they're here and they're loved. Let's go. Last point. What I don't want, what I don't think you want is the left's version of masculinity. You see that ad they did about voters trying to encourage women to lie to their husbands so that they could vote for her instead of Trump? That's their version of what marriage looks like. An overbearing husband who bullies his wife into saying she voted one way as opposed to an honest, open relationship. Oh, wait, I'm talking about Kamala and Doug. story in the news. Where is that story? I don't remember a single media person, not one who sat with him, asked him about the abuse allegations against him by a successful professional attorney who has great details, who has receipts, who has witnesses. No one even asked about it. I'm not into their version of toxic masculinity or new masculinity. I prefer the old version. Okay. All of you, and I prefer a president who understands how to be strong and how to fight. 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 I hope all of you do what I did last week. Vote Trump and get 10 friends to vote Trump, too. I did already. I'm in the audience. Let's say. USA, 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 Unbelievable. Thank you. Wow. I was at Trump rally all over again. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Megan, you did your thing with class. Keep it cute. And keep it a classy. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Today is the final day. I'm excited. I will be tuned in. This is my last reaction for today. I wanted to make sure I get it out there for y'all because we all need to tune in to this election, y'all. We all work so hard to get here, um, to get the word out. Um, and it, it, it's finally, finally here. We still have time, y'all. I voted last Monday, Trump 2024. Get out there, go vote, go make it happen, go make it happen, go make it happen, y'all. And let's go down in history. I love y'all. 
Thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for just having my back. Thank y'all for just not leaving me because I have been gone for a while and I'm back like I never left before. And y'all are still here showing the love and support. Let's keep learning. Let's keep, you know, getting the knowledge that we need. Let's keep researching. Um, that's it. Go vote. Go vote. Get your butt up and go vote.